This problem says at time t, a particle moving in the xy plane is at position x of t comma y of t, where x of t and y of t are not explicitly given. It says for t greater or equal to 0, dx dt is given as 4t plus 1, and dy dt is given as sine of t squared. At time t equals 0, our initial condition is x of 0 equals 0 and y of 0 equals negative 4. Part A says find the speed of the particle at time t equals 3, and then find the acceleration vector of the particle at time t equals 3. To find the speed of the particle when t equals 3, we're using the speed formula, which is square root of, this is dx dt squared, plus dy dt squared, and 3 has been plugged in for t. So I plugged in dx dt as y1, and dy dt as our y2. So to find the speed, we have the square root of, and then here's our dx dt when 3 is plugged in for t squared, plus here's dy dt with 3 plugged in for t squared. And you get 13.007. So our speed is 13.007. To find the acceleration vector when t equals 3, we need the second derivative. So y1 is our dx dt. In order to take the derivative, we're going to use math 8, and we're going to call up y1 because that's our dx dt, and we're plugging in 3 for t and you get 4. We're going to do the same thing with dy dt. Press math 8. We're going to call up y2 and plug in 3. And you get negative 5.467. So our acceleration vector is 4 comma negative 5.467. Part B says find the slope of the line tangent to the path of the particle at time t equals 3. With parametric equations to find slope you're using dy dx and that's equal to dy dt over dx dt and then we're going to plug in 3 for t. Our dy dt is under y2, so we have y2, and we're plugging in 3, and it's over y1, which is dx dt, and we're plugging in 3. So we get 0 0.032. So our slope of a tangent line when t equals 3 is 0 0.032. Part c says find the position of the particle when time t equals 3. To do that, we need our initial conditions right here. When t equals 0, we have x equals 0, and y equals negative 4. We want the position of the particle when t equals 3, so to do this we're going to set it up x of 3 equals x of 0, this is the initial condition that we're given, plus the integral from what we're given to what we want. So we're going integral from 0 to 3 of dx dt. x of 0 is given as 0, so we're just going to use the definite integral from 0 to 3 of dx dt dx dt is our y1, and you get 21. We're going to do the same thing for y. y of 3 equals y of 0 plus the integral from 0 to 3 of dy dt. y of 0 is negative 4, so we have negative 4 plus the integral from 0 to 3, and then we're calling up y2, and you get negative 3.226. So y of 3 equals negative 3.226. So at the time t equals 3, the position of the particle is 21 comma negative 3.226. Part D says find the total distance traveled by the particle over the time interval from 0 to 3. To find the distance traveled by the particle over a given time interval, we're going to go integral from 0 to 3 square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared. And we're going to plug this straight into the calculator. So we're going to go math 9, dx dt is our y1 dy dt is our y2, and you get 21.091. So the total distance traveled by the particle over the interval from 0 to 3 is 21.091. Thanks for watching, and hit the like button and subscribe to Math with Yosh. Thanks, guys.